Hi, I'm Gwendolyn Johnson. I am a senior at Marion. Oh my! <laughs> Sorry. Um, and this is my poem, Call of the Void. So, I'm not really sad anymore, and I don't really hurt anymore, and not in the apathetic way, but in the I might actually possibly kind of be getting better sort of way, the need to hide behind a wall of lies and makeup to be the sad story at a class reunion honored with a moment of silence to be the girl who didn't even see herself in the future, let alone want to have one, it's gone. And it should be a good thing, right? I haven't felt like killing myself in months. I mean, there's still that thought of what would happen when I'm driving if I just kept going straight. If I didn't turn when I was supposed to, if I went head on into the cement wall. But it's no longer a plan. I no longer brace for impact or close my eyes for the split second I actually consider doing it. It's just a thought that flits in and out of my mind. And I should be content, right? I mean, my grades are good. I have plans every weekend. People ask me out, so why do I feel the need to ruin something? Why do I feel like something is off? Like, I no longer, no longer want to rearrange all the pictures in my room or get so obsessed with a book that I forget to eat for three days or go out and make memories that I won't remember the next morning or do anything I used to want to do. Maybe it's because it feels like all of my skin has shifted two inches to the right. Maybe it's because I feel claustrophobic in an empty church. Maybe it's because I didn't cry at my grandpa's funeral. Maybe it's because I'm broken. Maybe it's because I'm broken. I have everything I should want. I have everything that's important in high school, but it's like I opened somebody else's Christmas presents. There's, I'm happy that I have all this new stuff, but there's still that thought that it wasn't meant for me. That I ruined somebody else's Christmas morning. But yeah, right, I'm happy.